dozens of goats being slain in the hills above Makapu. And the hunters won't stop until they're all wiped out. This one could stir up a lot of controversy tonight. KITV Force Brenton Awa live in Makapu to explain what's going on. Brenton. Yanji, the herd's been causing a problem for public safety, and killing them off appears to be the only means of control. We're out here at Sea Life Park. This is one of the spots on Oahu where the state's been doing controlled hunts to get rid of what it says is a rapidly growing goat population. Now, if you look at the hillside behind us, you might notice some patches of loose rocks where the brush has been cleared out. We're told the goats are destroying and uprooting plants, causing the ground to be exposed. And one of the problems from that is that loose rocks then start tumbling down the hill. Now, so far, the state has removed 78 goats from the area since its first hunt just over a year ago. Its mission is to protect the watershed where we get our water from. Its goal is to remove every last goat from this area. The officials we spoke with say the goats are an invasive species and pose a critical threat to the habitat. I think the best way for people to understand it maybe is to think about what would happen if you had um, a herd of goats or pigs coming into your yard. If you had even one pig or goat in your garden, you wouldn't tolerate that for very long. Um, just because you can't see the animals out in the forest doesn't mean they're not doing the same thing. Meanwhile, we spoke with over a dozen residents in the area. All of them oppose the way the state's handling the issue. One of the main concerns is that the group who's hunting the goats are shooting the animals and leaving some carcasses behind on the land to rot. People out here say that's not Pono. They wouldn't, they would have liked the opportunity to get rid of the goats differently and save the meat to eat and feed others. Now, uh, we're going to have more on this story coming up tonight at 10. We want to hear your thoughts on the issue, whether you're uh, for saving the uh, watershed for uh, saving the animals or somewhere in between. Log on to our Facebook page and tell us what you think. Reporting live near Makapu, I'm Brenton Awa for KITV4 News.